Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a new bracelet that I'm calling the Wavy Braid Bracelet. And here's what it looks like. So I think it turns out really awesome. You can see how the inner colors, the orange and the yellow, sort of wave back and forth. And then it has this black for the outer color that makes a bigger zigzag pattern over top. So you can make this either on the rainbow loom or the monster tail. And I will be showing it on the monster tail today. But if you are using your rainbow loom, I would recommend that you have the rows of pins in a straight row so that they're in line with one another. And then you would just work with six pins in the shape of a rectangle. So that's what I'm going to be doing on the monster tail. And then for my colors today, I have the Rainbow Loom Black, Neon Green, and Neon Blue. And you're going to need about 180 bands, depending on the size of your wrist. So you may need just a few more or a few less than that. And I am going to be using double bands for this bracelet. So you can use single bands, but it won't turn out as thick, and I think the pattern's not quite as obvious with the single. But if you're running low, you could certainly do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my middle color here, which is green, and I'm going to take two of those bands, since I am going to be showing it double, and these are going to go straight across the center. Just putting them both on together, and there's no need to twist. And now I'm going to take my black, which I'm going to be using for the outer color, the same way that I did in this place, I'm going to be keeping black for the outside. That's going to go from this center pin on the right and come diagonally down and to the left. And again, I'm always going to be using two bands. And then I'm going to take my last color, which I have the blue. And these two are going to go from the same pin on the right and diagonally up and to the left. And you do want to have these as straight as possible. So you would just want to take a couple extra seconds and make sure when you put bands on or when you loop bands that they are nice and straight and not twisted. And now I need to place a cap band on the right hand side here. So I am just going to use black. So it's just going to be one single band that I'm going to double. So I'm just placing it on my hook. I'm going to twist and put it back on. So you'll have two loops and they're just going to go on the right hand side. And now I want the lower bands to come up through. So I'm going to take them off in order. So I'm just going to take my hook and push back on these top two black bands. Get the blue bands here, the ones that are the next in line. Going to hold this cap band in place and take this off and then these two bands are just going to move to this pin above and then I'm going to reach down through again pushing back on the top two and I'm going to get my next color here which is going to be the two black and they're going to come up through and move to this pin below and then finally I have the green so I'm just going to grab them and pull them up through. I'm going to leave these on my hook and I'm just going to take my thumb and slide these black bands off and now I can put the green right back on. So now I've just made all of these bands go right through the middle of this cap band so I can push that right out to the center. And now I'm going to put on my next layer. So the colors are just going to be right over top of one another. So I have my black across the bottom. And then green in the middle. And then blue at the top. And now I want to remove the bottom layer. But I'm just going to take a second and make sure my bands are nice and even. So I'm just going to trace around with my hook. It just makes the bracelet look a lot nicer when you take your time. And so now I just want the bottom two bands to come off of all six of these pins. Oops. 
and I'm going to push that down. And now I'm going to start the braiding process. So what I'm going to be doing every time is getting these black bands to go to one side and then back to the other. They're just going to go and be going back and forth every time. So I'll do that on each of the sides. So I'm going to start on the right here and I'm just going to move these two into the middle and then I want the lower bands to come up through the black and move down. So these green are just going to come up through and move below and then I'm going to repeat that on the left here so the two black will move up and now the green are going to come up through the black and move below. So now you can see we've changed positions and the black has now moved to the middle and now once again we want the black to move up to the next one here so I'm going to go on the right it's going to be a long stretch here and now the blue again need to come up through like the green did and move down to the middle and I'm going to repeat that on the left so the black are just stretching up you'll feel that it's a little bit tight make sure that they both make it on there and now the blue are coming up through and moving to the middle and I can see that they're a little bit twisted here so I'm just going to take my time and make sure they're nice and straight and now that the black has moved all the way to the opposite side I'm going to put on the next layer so they're going to follow the same pattern so green is going to go across the bottom and then blue for the center and then black at the top. And then I'll remove that bottom layer which is two bands from each of the six pins. And now I'm ready for these black bands to work their way back down. So I'm just going to do the reverse order here. So on the right, the black's coming to the middle. And then that blue is coming up through and moving back up. And I'll repeat that on the left. So the black comes down. And then the blue goes up through and above. And now I need the blacks to move down to the bottom here. So from the right they come down. Again, you'll feel when you're doing this part that it is a tight stretch. And now the green can come up through and move to the center. And again, I'm going to try not to overlap them. And now the black will come down. It's always the black that's moving first. And the green comes up through and to the middle. Push that down. And now I'm ready to add the next layer. So again, they're going to follow the same pattern. So black's now at the bottom. have green for the center and finally blue and then I'm going to remove the bottom two from each of the pins whoops this one wanted to come off here and push down. So really that's all there is to it. The bands are now back in the same position at which they started with black at the bottom. And you can see some of these bands are a little bit twisted. I can see this green one here is just slightly twisted. 
So you can just take, like I said, a couple extra seconds and try and get them to look nice and straight. So let me just show you this again. Now that black's at the bottom, we're going to make it go up. So we're always moving the black first. So from the right side, it's just going up. And then the lower bands always come up through the black. Just repeat that on the other side. Whoops, I lost one here, but that's all right. I'll just pick it up, get it on there. Now the green can come up through and down. And now once again, the blacks are going to move up to the top. And the blues come to the center. going to take a second to straighten these out here and now I need to get that next layer on so I have black for the top now I'm going to remove that bottom layer push that down and now the blacks at the top so it has to work its way back down so you can see with the bands moving positions every time how you get that zigzag or that wavy look And now from the middle here, the black needs to come all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to put that next layer on. So hopefully you found this not too difficult to do. I think after you do a couple layers you'll definitely get the hang of it. And now the bottom layer comes off so it's two from each again. and then push down. So you can see here the pattern is starting to form. So I am just going to continue on in this exact same pattern. The black will work its way to the center and then to the top. I'll add the next layer of bands and then the black will work its way from the middle and then down. So if you feel like you don't quite have the hang of it yet, you can always go back in the tutorial and follow along again. So I am just going to fast forward here, and when the bracelet gets long enough, I will show you how to remove it from the loom. I now have my bracelet to the length that I'd like it, so I'm going to remove it from the loom. So what I'm going to do is start at the top here and I'm going to take these top bands on the right and move them down to the center. And then I'll do the same thing on the left. And now I want the bottom bands to move up so the two black I'll stay on the left side here are going to move up. And then the same thing on the right. And now I want the bottom four rubber bands to come over the top. So I'm just going to be left with two on each side here. 
I'm going to pick up the two black on the right, leave them on my hook. If you want, you can hold this with your finger just so it doesn't come off. And pick up the other two on the left. I can pull this out. And now if you want, you can put all four bands on the hook or you can slide the end two through the other, which I'm going to do. So I have just two left. It's just a little bit easier to get on the clip with two. So I'm just going to attach them to the one side. And then I'll come around to the other end here. You should have a nice circle at the bottom. That was our first cap band that we placed on. And hook that through. And then here you have your bracelet. And then here's the other one that I showed you at the beginning with the orange and yellow and black. Let me just unhook this one so they are the same. You can see them side by side. I hope that everyone loves their new wavy braid bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!